Hello, my name is Audrey Kasilskaya. I'm a co-founder of HelmetBasementRelation.com. Here we have five helmets that are made in the U.S. Today is May 9th, and uh, I will give you a quick review about all these helmets and give you my personal opinion which helmet I would like to use on a patient for the non-invasive ventilation. So first of all, we have two types of helmets. Uh, helmets that are two-piece, so you can see where the bottom ring comes off, okay, and the hood snaps on, or one-piece. So these are helmets that are one-piece helmets. The helmets made by Sealong and Amron been in the U.S. for long, longest time, and they are FDA approved. The helmets that are made by Subcell. Extol and NASA team are in process of getting FDA approval. Let's start with the Seelong. You probably heard about this helmet from the University of Chicago uh, study and uh, it was used successfully on the patients, but uh, we had few issues with these helmets. As you can see, uh, the surface of the helmet is not very smooth so that can be a problem where the moisture and bacteria can get trapped and you will have issues with uh, mold growing or bacteria growing in it. Uh, the next seal was the big problem and I can show you here a next seal that actually rips so easily. So if you're gonna cut it wrong, you ruin the helmet. So that's a big issue. Another issue we have were with the clips. So the helmet started to separate on a high pressure that patients require in the respiratory distress. So they suggested to use the clips, which actually break pretty easy. So uh, I hope Seelong will improve the design and uh, resolve all these issues that clinicians have with the helmet. Another two-piece helmet that we have here is from company Amram. It is very well made, uh, very high quality material used. Uh, it doesn't separate under the high pressure. And uh, like I said, it's FDA approved already, so it can be used on a patient. Now this, two helmets here, so this is a prototype from uh, Virgin Galactic, NASA, and the Spaceship Company. Uh, it's uh, the design uh, and, uh, improve and the design changes are happening as we speak. So this is not the final product. I gave a review in my previous video about it so you can learn more about it. But I can tell you that a great team, great experts and minds are behind this project. And also we work on other um, solutions to to uh, fight the pandemic of COVID-19. I'm gonna put this helmet away right now just because this is not the final product yet. Another company from Michigan, Extol, uh, we started to make a helmet maybe a month ago or so and uh, we made some improvements already. I don't have the newest helmet here but we did reduce the size of the ring. We also moved the uh, neck opening closer to the back of the helmet. That helps to prevent the leaks and it's more comfortable for the patients. But again, uh, the silicone is very nice. It doesn't rip uh, and it can be used for the non-invasive ventilation. Uh, now the helmet from a company Subcell is actually different than all of these helmets. One of the biggest features that this helmet has is that there is no uh, hard ring. Uh, so it is one piece helmet, but it is very comfortable for the patient because there is no hard uh, parts that can press on the patient's shoulders or the neck or the head, and it should be easier to prone the patient with it too. Uh, it is a very solid product, very high quality made product. And also what is nice about it that you don't have to cut the neck seal. Uh, it comes in size a small, medium, large. Uh, if you wanna modify the neck seal, you can uh, cut, 
cut the hole to make it bigger, but uh, otherwise you don't have to worry about it. And also it has a patient access, like all of them. So all the helmets have a patient access, which is very important. Uh, so you don't have to interrupt the treatment and uh, you can uh, make patient feel comfortable. So as of today, May 9th, based on my personal opinion, my experience with the helmets, uh, I can say that if I'm a clinician, if I'm a patient, I would choose one of these two helmets that are made in the US. So the Amron helmet is already FDA approved. The Sepstel helmet is in the process of FDA approval. Um, and uh, other manufacturers are improving the design of their helmets. And I hope to see them used for the patients in the hospital for non-invasive ventilation. Thank you very much.